Okay, enjoy. You know, uh, you got what you need? Good? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Um, wait, it's recording. That's I know, cool. but what I'm asking is, um, am I gonna have a mid- Oh, this is an introduction. Okay, never mind. Forget what I just said. Just point it out. <laughs> okay. There you go. Whatever. Keep it down. <laughs> I don't know why you keep it down. No, it's but... not. Well, oh, it's I just supposed to tell them. I tell them however you want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm gonna shut the door. You do this once. Once you do that interview, you're good to go. All right. And have fun. And thank you. Thanks for again for me. I will. Who's that? Oh, it's Anderson. Okay. Enjoy. See ya. Hello. Right. Hey. So, what's what's your name? My name is Tony Bianchini. And where are you from? Uh, originally from uh, New Jersey, and I uh, live in New Jersey now. How did you meet Blake? Uh, was a great story. Uh, Blake and I met. Uh, April 6, 2020. Today is June 18, 2020. Uh, we met in a Facebook group for Project 2020, and like with every other fan, he interacted with me and we chatted about stuff. I told him kind of what kind of public relations, social media I could bring to the table, and told him I'd love to work with him, and you know, the rest is history. Nice. Um, yeah. Do you collect baseball cards? Absolutely. Uh, collected since 1986. Uh, I have probably about 35,000 cards. That's not counting the 30,000 like 1980s cards I threw out because they were junk uh, <laughs> back in like the 2000s. It's probably like a funny story. Uh, but definitely got back into it in the mid 2010s. Who do you mainly collect? Don Mattingly is my PC. Uh, I've lost count. Uh, I have this Excel file of all my Don Madden cards, and the last time I counted it was like 1850, but then I have a big box and probably another 100 to 200, especially a lot that fans are sending in, which is awesome. So uh, I definitely have to find some time <laughs> to catalog this again. Wow. Um, what day has been your favorite day working on Team Blake? Every day. Every day is different and exciting, and you don't know what to expect, and Everybody asking like, where do you see yourself in a year, five years? I don't know where I see myself tomorrow because of how things have gone and how they've exploded, and I don't know what to expect. Right. Um, do you have any ridiculous stories about Blake you can share? Uh, I mean, there's probably so many. Uh, you know, we've known each other for a good three months, but I feel like we've known each other for a good 30 years, just the way we work together. Uh, and so I'm sure there's going to be many stories, uh, many that I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any hidden talents? Uh, I always was a good poetry writer. Um, and I've always like liked writing. I've kind of written a couple, tried to start like four or five novels and I've got the page like a hundred a few times and never really was patient enough to finish that. So poetry was always a good, you know, real quick thing that they could do. Um, and it has benefits to it. That's cool. <laughs> uh, what's your Twitter handle? It's abianchini23, so A-B-I-A-N-C-H-I-N-I 23. Awesome. 23 obviously is for Don Mattingly. Uh, and I've had 23 like as like my favorite number like my whole life and that just turns out to be Blake's favorite wow. number too, which is pretty funny. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks. So what's your name? Uh, Nicholas Tiso, but everybody calls me Nick. Uh, where are you from? Um, you I'm from Suffern, New York. Just put, put your hands down. Oh, sorry. I don't really to do it. Okay. Um, I'm actually from Suffern, New York. It's in Rockland County. Uh, just so you put your hands down. Sorry. That's a really good interview before. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, how did you meet Blake? Uh, I met Blake through you, Andrew. So, not really a crazy story there. Do you collect baseball cards? If so, who do you collect? I collect baseball cards. Um, I'm a Yankees fan, so I have a lot of Yankees cards, honestly. And most of them are like autographs or rookies or just like cool, like different cards, I guess. Do you have an all-time favorite card? All-time favorite card? Ooh, that is a hard question. I had a Jeter jersey autograph card with the pinstripe, so that was my favorite card for a while. So um, I don't have any more, but I would say like 
that was like probably my best pull and favorite card for a while. Uh, what has been your favorite day working on Team Blake? Ooh, favorite day? Well, I've been here for just three days, but I would say the first day is we did some uh, art cards, and that was really most of the day going through that, just meeting everybody on the team. Everyone was really cool, and then just you know familiarizing myself with everything. And then we did the live stream at night where we did a box break, hit a Rodman autograph, and yeah, so that was really cool. I was here like literally all day, so that was fun. Do you have any ridiculous stories about Blake you can share? Um, probably shouldn't share this, but back in college, man, it was wild. It was this one night, banana, an octopus, two goat farmers, two nuns, this guy named Earl. I mean, it was just wild. But um, it would take me hours to just really dive into that story, so we can just kind of skip that one for now, if you're cool with that. That's fair. Do you have any hidden talents? Hidden talents? Nothing like juggling or anything like that, but I like can play like almost every sport. I can play basketball, hockey, football, lacrosse, golf, volleyball. So like I would consider myself like people like don't see me as athletic, but I could really like play or have played at least in my life every sport. Um, what's your Twitter handle? Twitter handle is at Nick Tiso, N-I-C-K-T-I-S-O. Great, thanks. Thank you. It's... All right. <laughs> you ready? Good. good? Good? All right, we're good. All right. Good. What's your name? Uh, <laughs> that's good. Uh, my name's Andrew Troy. All right, Andrew, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Rockland County. All right, nice. Me too. How did you meet Blake? Uh, meeting Blake is actually an interesting story. Um, so I used to work at VaynerMedia, and a friend of mine was an influencer and got invited to an influencer party. Um, he took me as his plus one, and from there he met Lauren. And a few weeks later, Lauren invited my friend to a um, to a bar she was DJing at, and he took me as his plus one again, and. When we got there, uh, Blake introduced himself and, you know, we started talking and we kind of hit it off and, and he told me he was an artist and it was always my dream to be an artist and um, I started picking his brain a little bit and and then I asked him if I could come to the studio sometime and, and he said yes, which I was pretty surprised, you know, to for someone to like let a stranger coming to their studio and like for the day and hang out. Um, which is something I don't think I would have done personally if I was in Blake's position, but that's just like how cool of a guy he is and and, and how nice he is to do something like that. So uh, that's pretty much how I met Blake. Sweet. Do you collect baseball cards? And if so, who do you collect? Uh, I do. Um, I mostly collect basketball cards and football cards, um, but for baseball, I'm a big, you know, like two, early 2000s uh, Mets fan. I grew up having season tickets. Um, so people like Mo Vaughn and, and Mike Piazza and uh, Edgardo Alfonso. Um, I used to love those guys. So I try to collect those guys. Um, and Jeff Bagwell, I really liked growing up. And um, later on, I started to like Hanley Ramirez, so I collect him too. Cool. Favorite card? Favorite card, um, my favorite card is I have a Paul Pierce, who's my all-time favorite basketball player. Um, like it was a NBA Finals edition autograph that's gold, numbered uh, three of ten. So you're sweet. Yeah. Um, what has been your favorite day working on Team Blake? That's tough. Um, there, I mean, it's hard to pinpoint one. I mean, they're all really fun. You know, now that I've worked here for a few months, you know, I kind of really realized how much I hated my old job and, and how much fun I'm having. And it's like, it doesn't even feel like work. Um, so honestly, just being here and along for the ride is, is so awesome. Cool. 
Do you have any ridiculous stories about Blake that you can share? It's a tough one. Um, none that I can really pinpoint, but knowing Blake for like almost two years now, like a year and a half, um, I've never met anybody that like has bet on themselves so much. Like, the, the amount of risks he's taken and done is wild to me. And I think it's so cool to, for someone to just, you know, go all in on themselves and, and, and truly follow their passion. And it's, it's super inspiring for me. Um, and um, it's something that I've been like taking notes on and learning from that I kind of want to apply to my own life. And hopefully one day when I start selling, you know, my own art. Um, so yeah. Awesome. Do you have any hidden talents? I write stand up comedy. A lot of people don't know that about me. I, um, I do paint. Um, and I play basketball. Awesome. All right. Um, lastly, what's your Twitter handle? It is at Andy Choi, A-N-D-Y-C-H-O-A-I. Awesome. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks. So, what's your name? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, my name is Matt Costello. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in New York, but I grew up in New Jersey, and I live in New York now. How did you meet Blake? I met Blake uh, through Twitter. I, uh, I DM'd him after I saw... He posted a video basically showing how many cards he had out on the table and said that he would likely need help uh, packing and shipping all of them. Um, and I responded, I didn't have a job in time, and said, hey, I'm, I'm local. Uh, if you need help packing, shipping, anything, any random tasks, uh, I can certainly help out. Um, he fortunately replied, and uh, yeah, the rest is history. Awesome. Uh, do you collect baseball cards? If so, who do you collect? I do collect. Uh, I kind of got back into it recently this year after um, a long hiatus of, of more than a decade. Um, and I collect mostly baseball, uh, mostly young prospects. Um, Glaber Torres is definitely one of my, my big guys. He's my favorite young player on the Yankees. Um, Eloy Jimenez, uh, Ronald Acuna, those are some of my top targets these days. Do you have a favorite card? Oh, good question. Um, probably the 89 Griffey Upper Deck Rookie. Nice. Uh, the classic card, because I've had that card since, I don't know, maybe I was like eight years old or nine years old, I feel like. My parents bought me a, a complete set of 89 Upper Deck. That's cool. And I, of course, opened it. <laughs> uh, and I took out the Griffey Rookie, and it was just like, it was the card, yeah, the coolest card. So yeah, that's probably that. And I have a, a rookie Bernie Williams card that is autographed by him, and that's actually like the first card that I ever had. Um, I went to my parents, took me to Cooperstown when I was about six or seven years old, uh, which was awesome, and we went to a card shop there, and I got the Bernie Williams there. And I still have that. That's cool. In my in my PC, and uh, that's an awesome. One. Thank you, mom and dad, for that trip. That was great. <laughs> um, what day has been your favorite day working on Team Blake? That's a really tough question. Um, I think my favorite day would have to be the day the MLB.com article came out, um, which I believe was. A Monday and Blake's Mike Trout card was supposed to come out Tuesday and ended up getting pushed back one day to Wednesday um, but on that day Mark McGuire randomly saw the MLB.com article about Blake where he mentions his story where he, he's a two-year-old in the car with his dad and they see Mark McGuire on the highway and say hello to him and McGuire was really young and it was early in his career, and it was, you know, he didn't expect someone to, to recognize him, let alone on the highway. Um, and so he remembered that. And when he was reading the MLB.com story, 
Um, and he got in touch with Blake, and they actually spoke on the phone for about 20 minutes that day, um, which was pretty awesome to see Blake speak to his one of his childhood heroes. Uh, do you have any ridiculous stories about Blake you can share? Hmm, that I can share? Uh, probably not. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Blake is a great, authentic, genuine dude who will. I, I mean, it, it was ridiculous. That was the question. Ridiculous stories. Yeah. I mean, to me, having someone troll you on Twitter and then you reverse trolling them and like sending them like beautiful art cards or Project 2020 cards, which Blake has done. Like to me, that's ridiculous. I would just never personally do that. I, I think Blake is more generous than I am. Um, and maybe, maybe he's more kind than I am too. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I think just, I, I don't know, seeing Blake turn like people who are, are hating on things into passionate fans is really like kind of awesome to see. That is. And we've had some fun shenanigans late night after some ten twenty three streams, but we'll uh, we'll leave that for later. <laughs> um, do you have any hidden talents? Not really. Unlike unlike my friend Josh Fendrick, I can't name all the presidents while juggling. Um, so, um, do I have any hidden talents? Not really. Um, Yeah, not much. All right. Um, I, I should have really prepared an answer for this question because I thought it would stump me. And here, <laughs> yeah. lo and behold, it has stumped me. Um, I used to be able to, like, I used to be really obsessed with the NFL draft, and I used to be able to name, like, the entire first two rounds of, like, a random draft from, like, 2005 to 2000. 12 and just like be like oh who was the 16th pick in the first round and i'd be like oh it was this guy and like they'd be like oh name everyone who was drafted in the first round and i could just do that which is really useless <laughs> because there's you could just google it and find out in two seconds who got drafted where but that was the kind of stuff that i was occupying my time with so maybe that's why i don't have any hidden talents because i was too busy memorizing who got drafted where so. <laughs> Um, <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> and lastly, what's your Twitter handle? Twitter handle is, I can answer this one, Matt, M-A-T-T, underscore Costello, C-A-S-T-E-L-L-O. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you.